ain't Texas. Beyonce's hit song, Texas Hold'em, is nothing short of a worldwide phenomenon. But did you know about its humble beginnings? <laughs> Just that snippet. I was like, whoa. She's like, Roy, can you believe it? That's right. The prelude to Queen Bee's hit is pulled from Roy Hamilton's song, Don't Let Go, from 1958. So, Roy, can you tell me a little bit about your grandfather? But he was an amazing singer, world class, very classy guy, well trained in his field of bel canto. R&B, gospel, opera. The Georgia-born artists gave Epic Records their first number one songs in 1954 and 1955, inspiring an entire generation of artists. He was a great influence on other artists, such as Elvis Presley, Sam Cooke, Brooke Benson, and the Righteous Brothers, who um, Roy Sr. recorded on Chain Melody 10 years before the Righteous Brothers. What, what do you want people to know about his life and his legacy? And he was an awesome uh, artist, a great father. Uh, my earliest recollection of, of him was when he brought me up on stage and we sang uh, Don't Let Go and uh, oh, When the Saints Go Marching In. Taking a look at some of the comments, who else is here after Cowboy Carter? So glad Beyonce introduced me to his music. Beyonce introduced me to this gem. Amazing, that is so amazing. Cause again, like I said, my parents have been working so hard and fighting for to get his legacy out there so that he, more people know about his voice and where a lot of other people who sang that literally took his style of singing mm -hmm. and just made it their own, like to see where it started. Is this the fate you're made for? Today, his grandson, Roy Hamilton III, is carrying on the legacy as a Grammy nominated songwriter, producer, and A&R exec in Toronto. I've been here before. So right there, so when you resolve it with it, I've been here before. Yeah. On the day of my visit, he's working with up-and-coming Canadian artist Delaney Brooklyn, but the list of collaborators is as awe-inspiring as his family's lineage, including Michael Jackson, Justin Bieber, and Britney Spears. Beyond Beyonce, the renewed buzz for Roy Hamilton is a reminder of the pioneering influence of black artists in music. You know, he really deserves to be, you know, into you know certain halls of fames and accolades like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and whatnot. I mean, covered so many songs, helped so many people. Y'all, I always say this, we stand on other people's shoulders creatively. So I just hope that it continues to just educate people about the history of music, also inspire people to go outside of the box and do what, the, what you wanna do creatively. Liam Vu, Global News.